this. I talked to Pepsi CMOs yep. earlier and Frito-Lay. They were also all on the celebrity train. I thought this was the year we were going to get more socially conscious advertisement. Yeah, I think socially conscious can sometimes fall into the realm of controversial. So I think a lot of companies in this political climate are kind of backing off from anything that isn't just focused on entertaining consumers, making them smile and laugh and selling products. Um, celebrities haven't, aren't, aren't a new thing, but this year you're going to start to see more female celebrities. I think um, a lot of companies are starting to see that in the Me Too era that they have to have more of a balanced approach to not just having male celebrities. Last year, three quarters of the, of the celebrities in uh, TV spots were males. So this year they want to have a more balanced approach, which obviously I think is a great thing. Where do the surprise uh, advertisers come from? Who's spending big uh, for the slots that you wouldn't typically expect? Well, Expensify is one. Um, Bumble is another. Bumble is a dating app that's coming in as a startup, and it's a big chunk of change for, for a startup. For the startups, it's a huge bet. I mean, Doritos and Budweiser have been advertising in the Super Bowl for the last 10, 15 years. They're almost expected to be there. But to see startups going, you know, they're, they're anticipating that the impact on their business isn't just going to be marketing to people, but marketing through people, that people are going to take their spot, they're going to share it, they're going to get a lot of buzz on places like YouTube prior to the Super Bowl starting to create that buzz that goes far beyond the actual Super Bowl. I think it's interesting, the expensified model, because it's essentially the consumerization of the enterprise. It's not a top-down approach where they're going to get a CIO to adopt this Expensify. The individual employee has the ability to start using it, which could spread up. And that's how a company like that can justify making such a big investment. But it is fascinating because it's a totally opposite equation to digital targeted ads yep. where we know who you are and what you want um, and still kind of the fire hose approach. Yep. Well, I mean, the Super Bowl, besides that, there's the Grammys and the Oscars. And that's really all there is right now in terms of garnering mass reach and mass eyeballs in the world of, you know, people time shifting content and Hulu and Netflix. There's not that many games in towns if you want to garner eyeballs. So if I was a CMO of a major brand, I would still invest in the Super Bowl. It's probably the one place I would pour dollars into because it's a sure thing and you know you're going to have that mass reach all at once.